Hello everyone and welcome back to the Fluckish channel. Wondering what life is like inside the United States' most massive $5 billion stealth ship patrolling the oceans at full speed? Stay tuned for a day in the life of USS Zumwalt's sailing crew, patrolling the seas and other military patrols on the open water. But first, let's talk about Zumwalt. Prepped for the sea in 2015, USS Zumwalt is the most stealthy guided missile destroyer on the Seven Seas. Valued at $4.4 billion, this lead ship received its namesake from Admiral Elmo Zumwalt. Officially commissioned in 2016, USS Zumwalt first set sail for Baltimore, Maryland, before landing in San Diego. When it comes to USS Zumwalt's construction and commissioning, it's all about staying up to date with the latest technology. With megawatts of pure power at the captain's fingertips, USS Zumwalt is a vast departure from standard stealth ship design. That's why October 15, 2016, was an ostentatious day for U.S. military personnel, with USS Zumwalt launched as the most tech-savvy, highly advanced surface combatant in the whole fleet. Okay, what a, what a marvelous day, what a marvelous evening to celebrate a ship and a crew joining the fleet. Also known as DDG-1000, this extensive ship was formally commissioned in Baltimore, Maryland. Just like the youngest chief of naval operations it was named for, USS Zumwalt is stealth itself. Speaking of Zumwalt-class destroyers, we'd be remiss if we missed USS Lyndon B. Johnson's epic sail away from the most pristine shipyard in the U.S., Bath Ironworks, or BIW. The date was January 12, 2022, and sailors looked on as USS Lyndon B. Johnson, the last of its class, cruised toward its ultimate destination in Mississippi five days later. Meanwhile, life aboard USS Zumwalt never stands still. With a large crew of almost 160 veteran sailors, DDG-1000 can reach speeds of up to 30 knots, with a displacement of over 16,000 tons. Behind its efficient exterior, sailors spend their days listening to their superiors' commands and training with the team. When they're not line handling, they're setting sail in patrol boats to explore their local surroundings. Encompassed by enormous generators in the ship's interior, USS Zumwalt's crew members take turns commanding the control room, helping in the hospital bay, or staying in shape in the ship's gym.
Once USS Zumwa landed in sunny San Diego, its shipyard availability was tested in both 2017 and 2018. Since then, April 2019 marked the 600-foot stealth ship's premier patrol all the way to Alaska, Ketchikan to be exact. Met with the stormiest of seas on their watch, Zumwalt's team members struggled to conduct stability tests at first. From then on, it was smooth sailing as Zumwalt set its sights on the Hawaiian Islands. Celebrated as the initial visit of a Zumwalt class destroyer to the Aloha State, the U.S. military accepted this billion dollar stealth ship's delivery in April 2022. Step aboard USS Texas, a Virginia class sub that sailed beneath the Pacific Ocean on a mission on March 15, 2017. As it prepared for another deep water dive, crew members on this vast sub performed everyday training drills. From teaching sailors how to escape from a submarine in case of an emergency, to learning exactly how the vessel operates, the U.S. military takes special care in training its crew. Also known as a 774-class nuclear submarine, USS Texas is a well-equipped, fast-attack weapon made for littoral and open-ocean missions. Created during the Cold War, these Virginia-class subs are a common replacement for previously outdated vessels Not to mention, it's a bit more affordable than your standard Seawolf-class submarine, too. But what do crew members do when they're not training? Observing and running drills? Curious about what life is like inside a submarine? Take a walk along USS New Mexico, a fast attack submarine based in Norfolk, Virginia, on October 27, 2020. From extremely small living quarters for the crew to the captain's control room, USS New Mexico is one of the most effective fast attack subs on the seas. streamlined with advanced technology, including the torpedo men's separate sleeping quarters. Of course, the crew mess is a popular place to play games, eat, and congregate. There's so much more to life on a submarine than training, drills, and workout routines. When these military members aren't celebrating their victories, sailors on this special sub play chess and video games with each other to pass the time. On top of that, crew members catch up on assignments, scroll on the computer, and read to each other from chapter books. That was Lapone's motto, and it had been ever since Max's first voyage on the sub when he used the phrase to announce his decision to follow. Naturally, eating culinary cuisines from the crew's mess and grabbing a few extra winks in the sleeping quarters isn't a bad way to spend their time either. Hmm. 
If you've never heard of USS Comstock, you're in for a real treat. Crafted by Avondale Shipyards in Louisiana on October 27, 1987, USS Comstock was first launched on the seas on January 15, 1988. Classified as a dock landing ship of the Whidbey Island class, this military vessel was the second of its type. However, USS Comstock soon broke world records when it added both female and male sailors to its crew. Come along for a sneak peek into USS Comstock right before Los Angeles Fleet Week on August 26, 2019. Named after its largest load of silver in the United States at the time, USS Comstock actually shares its namesake with another ship of similar stature. As a landing dock ship, its number one goal is to fast attack hostile territories. In the forecastle of the ship, sailors are busy on sea and anchor detail duty. From navigating channels to guiding the ship's GPS, there's no shortage of things for USS Comstock's crew members to do. Ready for the real deal on USS Comstock's refueling process? To tell you the truth, most fleet replenishment missions take place at sea, meaning that this amphibious ship counts on USNS Henry Kaiser, or TAO-187, for a quick refill. During this gigantic gas transaction between LSD-45 and TAO-187, sailors stood at the ready to ensure everything went smoothly. Last but not least, there's patrol boat MK6-1206, an integral part of Maritime Expeditionary Security Squadron 3. Believe it or not, this military-style patrol boat is fully equipped to board USS Comstock to support the team's integration mission. Guided by a group of well-trained crew members, Task Force 75 puts seaside security as its top priority. Thanks to its amphibious capabilities, patrol boat MK61206 is vital to USS Comstock's success as a multi-billion dollar ship. If you've ever wondered what life is like inside some of the most incredible stealth ships on high seas, you've come to the right place. From investigating the interior of USS Zumwalt to coming along on a refueling mission with USS Comstock, there are so many amazing ways submarine and stealth ship crew members stay busy at sea. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.